I've never had that experience oh, in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to a very, very special Fung Bros food. Right now, we're about to have one of the best sushi meals that you can get in the entire world at Hyakumon Goku right now. Here at Hyakumon Goku, the sushi chefs have been working for over 40 to 50 years. The fish comes directly from Tsukiji Fish Market. They prepare it just for the day. Big shout out to KK Day for setting up this experience because this might have been something that we would have missed out on. We gotta get started because the dishes are gonna start coming. I have never had actually any of these appetizers. This right here is monkfish liver. It definitely has a pate style taste to it. Wow, that is a buttery liver. This is salmon with cream cheese. That was the best salmon and cream cheese I've ever had. Right here we have jellyfish with mixed seafood. It's like a little salty, a little bit vinegary. Got that nice crunch and bounce from the jellyfish. We're done with appetizers, the fish has arrived. First of all, this wasabi can never go into the yes. show you. We saw him just kind of grounding it up in front of our faces. I'm gonna put the fresh wasabi onto the red snapper. Red snapper, that is beautiful. That fresh wasabi is bringing out all the flavor right now. This is a Hokkaido surf clam, wow. AKA a hokkagai. I have never had a fish that tasted like that before. So we got an exclusive Japanese fish right here. Sayori. There is a depth of flavor, almost like a woodsy flavor. Yeah. yeah. Tamago is like that layered egg. It's usually served cold. It's a little bit sweet. Shout out to SpongeBob. <laughs> that is so sweet. Mm. That is so cool. Look at the color in that roll. It's really good. And this is maki. Yes. And maki is with the seaweed on the outside. So sashimi, you can eat with chopsticks, but nigiri with the rice, you're supposed to eat with your hand. Yes. And rolls, you can also eat with your hand. You just lightly dip it in the soy sauce and you're good to go. The fish yeah, side, the fish side. And traditionally to eat sushi, you're supposed to eat it all in one piece, all in one bite. Yeah. Got us A1, man. It really got to savor it. It's a little bit, honestly, of a spiritual experience. Yeah, so right after you eat every piece of sushi and just Quickly dab your fingers and grab the towel just right there, and you're ready to go for the next piece. Taisho. 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 In Japanese, Taisho means general. So that's what we're calling that man right there. The master is Taisho, and right below is Tensho. So the whole sushi culture kind of derived from samurai culture. When samurais were starting to get banned and outlawed, a lot of them started their own sushi places. Mm. They were nice at the knife work. But a lot of people think that sushi refers to raw fish. Sushi, actually, the word rever refers to the way that the rice is prepared. It's vinegared rice. There's sashimi, nigiri, yep. maki, there's tamaki, there's wamaki, and then there's a chirasi. This right here is grilled tuna belly. Tuna in Japanese is toro. Wow. The taste palate's in my tongue, just tingling after that bite. Just so soft, because you know that's how fresh the fish is. Mm. Oishi. 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 They have a ice box refrigerator. There's no electricity. Almost no other places have an ice box refrigerator still to this day. Yeah, I've just been handed a tamaki hand roll. Wow. So he saw that we were big eaters, mm. so he took the leftovers from our first sushi tray yeah. and rolled it and put some umemoshi, which is a plum sauce, yeah. and then made a tamaki hand wrap out of it Yo. just to make sure that nothing went to waste. He just Yo. freestyled it pretty much. He's gonna show us some special knives. Oh. Check it out. This is almost like a Hattori Hanzo sword right here. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are trying the abalone. It's not even that chewy. No. I've had abalone that's really hard to chew. This one goes right through. This one's nice, man. I think I taste a little bit of like a wine sauce. Look at that. This is fugu, we'll talk about it later. Now, we just ate pufferfish, which is known to be a highly poisonous fish. Uh, sushi chefs actually have to receive a certain certification to even serve fugu. It's a unique flavor, but it's a subtle flavor. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't subtle. blow you away. It had a spicy kick to it. Did you yeah. guys taste Yo. that at all? Yo, that might have been the, the poison. Yeah. I'm just kidding. This next piece is cuttlefish. He actually brushed the shoyu onto it already. Everything we've had here, it just kind of melts 
they actually have a technique so they cut it a certain way so when you actually eat it it's tender so this is a different kind of cuttlefish and what he's done is cut slits into the top of it and then spread some salt onto it so the salt can get into it Permeate. i would have never described cuttlefish as creamy but that was creamy beautiful beautiful piece they must have dined on butter because everything is just so soft it's almost like gelatinous. I felt like it had a very, very meaty flavor, almost like beef. As you can see in this diagram, this piece right here actually comes from the bottom. So this is the belly of the tuna right here, and they have different names for all the different parts of the tuna. This is Otoro. The this highest is the top. level. You got the most minerals and nutrients and fat in it. Guys, let's just go. I think, I feel like I, I, if we keep talking, <laughs> it's, it's not gonna taste as good. Right. Whoa. Yo, I'm speechless, man. Probably the best slice of tuna I've ever had. That was I've the best slice had. of tuna I've ever had, man. But I would say that the fattiness was on par with salmon. Have so you guys good. ever had a piece of fish break down in your mouth that way? I've never had that experience oh, in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. don't say no more, no, David. They don't look, these look like <laughs> lobsters. Ebi in Japanese is shrimp. Look at that. Yo. <laughs> That is beautifully prepared. Like, as you can see how far this head actually went in and how clean he was able to take out that meat without leaving anything inside. I've, never, yeah, I've never seen a shrimp be de-shelled and still look like <laughs> almost like it's got a shell on it. It tastes different, that upper part no. has a different taste. It tastes like the head of a crab. <laughs> yeah. Uni, man. Oh, uni. 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 To uni. uni. That was like juicy uni. Juicy uni. It this almost looked like mousse. This, this uni looked juicy. like mousse. See, this was Would so. You say so. This was smooth. Yeah. I don't know how to describe that, other than if you play Marvel vs. Capcom and you hit somebody with a forty hit combo, oh, yeah. and then it just goes. <laughs> He's gonna show us. This is a special the, soup. Oh, so it's chicken, mushroom, scallop, and shrimp. Wow. Yeah. Little bit. Little bit. Okay. Little bit. Squeeze up. Just, just one drop. drop. Special, special soup. soup. Mm, perfect temperature. I will say that every drop matters in this Akagai, aka Arc Shell. Taste subtle. Very subtle. subtle taste. This is the seasonal Sanma, the samurai swordfish. Look at the skin on it, man. It's mm. silver. It's like what is on top? Listening. It looks metallic. <laughs> and he just gave us something with a crazy kick. We go. Oishi. 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 It remind me of the steamed scallion fish dish. Oh. That, yeah. Chinese people. You know what? Man. Scallion and ginger, man. Yo, that never was crazy. fails. That skin. That fish skin actually has a lot of fat and flavor in it. Yeah. I just saw the metallic look on it, it was shiny. I knew it had to be good. Hey, AB likes shiny things, so. Yeah, eel is probably one of my favorite cuts, and this eel is beyond anything I've had. That was sweet. It was buttery, it was soft, it melted in my mouth. It had a nice roasting, sweet flavor. Yes. This is the grand finale. This is the finish. Mm. What better way than to finish than just on simple maki rolls? Yeah. Starting off with the tuna first. Uh, it, it wasn't the grand finale in the sense that it was the craziest thing, but it's just a very simple thing. I think it's very familiar. I ended off when we were just like skyrocket. We were to the moon with certain oh, pieces. Yeah. Hey, so he, he's bringing us back down to earth right now. Mm, right. Anago and cucumber in this role. Tokyo, as modern as it is, it's just rich with tradition and mm. past. Nah, I, ju I just feel it. I feel there's a ritual for everything. People take it serious. They love it, and, and it means a lot. We are the first foreigners to film here, and I feel very privileged that it's us. Yeah. Yo, I am so honored that they let our YouTube channel come in here as the first foreigners. Our final tuna maki roll. I don't want it to end. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Remember, you guys, if you guys want these once-in-a-lifetime memorable experiences, you gotta book through KK Day. They make sure that almost every activity that they have on the website is memorable. Yeah. Guys behind the camera, don't worry, because look at your plate of sushi right here. Thank you guys so much for watching that episode of Fun Bros Food here at Hakuman Goku. One of the most special Fun Bros Food videos I've ever done. Until next time, we're in Hakuman Goku, and we out. Peace. Peace. All right, guys, remember, if you guys want to book something off KK Day, go down below, click on that link, and you can get a discount by using our code. All right, everybody, until next time, we out. Peace.